Hey, what up, family? How y'all doing today? I'm about to bring y'all a quick video. Real, uh, it's not gonna be a long one, but it's one I was telling y'all about last night. I gotta go to my notes real quick. Okay, so one thing I want to let y'all know is how the lottery is rigged. Okay, so basically, there's some things I come up with playing the lottery system, and if you know how it's rigged, you can actually try to beat it. It just costs more money to beat it. Okay, one thing I say is one is on the count system. For those who don't know the numbers, they claim are random. No, they're not really random. If the numbers were truly random, and here's the thing, um, that comes to point number two, which the same sequence of number never played twice. Um, there's certain games like the pick three where you see the same numbers played twice um, in random combinations, even though it may be a year or the n same number may play again two months later or a couple of weeks later. But in those games, um, since there's few numbers, they would have to play again, um, even with the combinations. But if we're talking about Powerball and Mega Millions, even though there's millions and millions of combinations, there's still a higher chance of the same combination of numbers coming up not once but twice excluding the powerball then there are chances for you actually winning the powerball itself so what they do is they blacklist certain combinations that have already been played and the computer system makes sure those combinations are not played again remember these are just my opinions and speculations i'm not saying these are facts but this is just what i'm thinking also there's always one hour before the game closes now i do find that to be odd and suspicious but also at the same time it's not so very true as when i looked at the pick five um, the pick five is not supposed to draw till 10 o'clock, but around 9.32, the website already had the results for the numbers already. So how is it that the website got the results for the numbers already 30 minutes before the actual drawing takes place? And those numbers stuck. So that, that should let you know something right there. Um, also, there's only certain winners in certain areas. So if you notice, if you look at a map, like with my website, you can actually pull up a map. There's more winners in rural areas than there are in urban areas okay so basically if you go in my area if you go out west there's a lot more winners in out west because there's more car white people who live out west than there are when it comes to up north uh or when it comes to the east where there's more black people who live there black people tend to win the pick three a lot or the uh lower end of the spectrum a lot like the six hundred dollars here or there but the big winners like your scratch off big winner scratch offs and stuff like that those always happen in white neighborhoods also if you notice that a lot of people say that oh there's a lot more stores that do the lottery in certain areas so i looked up the map of the retailers within my city and yes that actually is true in black areas and black neighborhoods there are more retailers that actually sell the lottery than they do in white neighborhoods which comes to my final thing is that they they redraw the numbers what they do is say for instance within that hour period they draw a number it's in the area they don't like it at they know who draw it up they can easily get access to the camera of the store and see who actually pick that particular drawing how you think they get access to the camera with the dude who went cheating on the lottery you think they asked the store for that footage no they already had access to that footage um the thing is is that if the number sequence they pick out is not in the right area or neighborhood they want, what they do is they redraw. And within an hour time period, they redraw until they get the number sequence that they actually want. And then they read those results. Why do you think they got rid of the live drawings? Because if you have less live drawings, it, it basically it's more live drawings that makes it harder to manipulate. Less uh, live drawings is easier to manipulate. So for you to say it's on a random generated number system is exactly not true. If it was random, would you think that the millions of people who've been playing the lottery, that there'd be more than one or two winners uh, of a jackpot prize? When the jackpot went up to a billion dollars, right, over a billion dollars, there was only three winners. Now, when it's lower than that, there's usually only one winner. So it seems like the winners are proportioned to what each person who wins the jackpot prize can actually get, which is around $500 million. There's a couple of people who got in the $700 million range. But then again, half these lotto players who win the big prizes, you really don't hear from them hardly. Maybe because they stay low-key or something like that. Also as well, there's a, a thing about how the mob used to be ingrained within the lottery system itself you know with the whole bookies i'm not gonna go into that but i will tell you this though um if you do play 
um, you play scratch offs, 99% of the time you're going to break even. Especially if you buy more than one ticket at a time. If you buy at least 10 tickets, you're going to break even. Um, rarely do they actually put out the jackpot prizes until later on. And when they do, they know exactly where they're sending those prizes at. Because if it weren't for a person to win, they have to confirm where they send it at, right? So each bracket has an area code on there. So what they do is they pick which ones the jackpot prizes for scratch offs are to be clicked on. Otherwise, it will end up clicking like putting out like 10 top prizes when really they're only supposed to be three. Um, like I said, these these are not facts or anything. These are just my opinions, speculations, and stuff that I noticed while playing the game uh, myself. Uh, the only reason why I noticed this is because when I figured out combinations and never played them, they always came up. But when I played those combinations that I did figure out, not only did it take a longer time for the readout to come, but it wouldn't read out at exactly 10 o'clock, and even then the game would glitch up. I still remember one time I picked all the numbers for the Powerball and the game and the system had actually glitched. And it reprogrammed new numbers into the system. And I'm not the only one who probably came up with those numbers. There's probably 12 or 13 other people, but think about it. You can't have 12 or 13 people win a jackpot prize. That wouldn't, that wasn't good, good for them. You know what I'm saying? So think about it. Uh, you're better off saving your money. Put in your pocket and invest in Bitcoin or something like that. Or if you do play, play at the smaller amounts. Don't spend so much money on the Powerball and the Mega Millions. Play your local. Uh, you'll ha probably have a better, higher chance of winning your local ones. Even though they may be rigged, they can't be rigged as much because they have the limited set amount of numbers. Then you do it playing the uh, Powerball and Mega Millions. All right, then. Uh, I went over my time. So I'm going to go ahead and holler at y'all later. Peace, love. Y'all have a good one. This is a quick video.